Well, hello there. Um, first of all, apologies if I haven't uploaded a video or recorded on my bloody iPad. But it's, um, to be honest, I really can't be asked today to set the camera and the wires and the stuff up. Um, stuff that's been going on this week. Um, well, we uploaded, um, obviously, wait, me, uh, the Depth of Field and Post for, uh, on the Nuke for 3D Artists uh, series. Now, there's another four or five before I run out of videos. Um, I'll tell you what they are. Um, there is a one about dealing with anamorphic uh, footage, there's one about creating mastery of the Roho node, and then if I go into my folder with things I haven't uploaded yet, um, there's also how to do retexture and these advanced compositors to use in contact sheets, so, you know, stuff like that. So I'm not going to run out of uh, stuff for a few weeks. Uh, I am, however, uh, not able to work at the moment because I've basically done my arm in. Uh, it's, it's like what I've got is uh, they believe um, if it's not a trapped nerve in my elbow, it could well be like like it's like a super tennis elbow sort of thing. Uh, so if I sort of try and use like the keyboard, normally I used to sit like that on this desk with the keyboard there and the mouse there and the whack them in the middle. And some of you might realise that's not the wisest idea in the world. Um, which is probably why this is the way it is. And I've, I was working quite a lot last year, for the last year, you know, really. Um, so it's a problem I've probably created myself. I'm going to wait till the 4th of April uh, till I go to physio. And then we see, you know, what the prognosis is. But uh, I get, at the moment I'm getting pins and needles, you know, and numbness down there. It goes right up my arm, my elbow. And sometimes it's extremely painful. So they've got me on these bloody codeine tablets, um, which I don't particularly like because they are addictive, so I'm not taking very many of them, only when the pain gets really bad. But uh, as I say, it shouldn't hopefully affect the Nuke for 3D Artist series um, too much um, because I've got stuff, luckily I've recorded a load of stuff, right? And I might be able to do some other things if it's one-handed, you know. I just might be slightly slower than usual. Uh, on other news this week, I've been um, on the music side, uh, I've been recording uh, a local guy, a friend of mine, Chris Justice, recording his album. So he's, we've got about um, 26, 28 tracks done um, in two days. We did on Tuesday, and that was about three and a, three and a half hours, and then two hours um, on Thursday, yeah. And it's Saturday today. So that's, there's maybe a few overdubs or redos for some stuff, but most of it's really, really good and came out really well. Um, so that's helping to keep my brain sane and not sitting doing nothing. Uh, I also made a cigar box guitar, one-handed. <laughs> that was fun. Um, although, without thinking, of course, I'm stringing it up afterwards. It's a cigar box guitar, about 26-inch uh, uh, scale length, so it's short, right? And it's got very high action for slide. Uh, three strings tuned open D, and we've got a piezo pickup as well, so it can be plugged in. Um, without thinking, I'm stringing it up and I'm going like, well, I'm not going to do it with that hand, but like this, you know, tune the, with the tune, D, that's it, top. And that night, I was in epic pain with this arm, because um, I just didn't think. You know, you don't think about the fact that this sort of thing, this sort of movement and twisting all the time, might actually aggravate things, but it did. Um, so that's what I, what else I did. Um, I think I put a photograph on on Twitter and stuff on Facebook. At some point, at the moment, the good thing, the reason why it's a short scale of this, I can actually play with the slide for about two minutes before this kicks in. You know, just so it gives us something to do. Um, now, if I'm not sure many of you are aware, but uh, there is the uh, Wayne's Music World. Um, sort of YouTube channel just for my music stuff. There's not much in it at the moment. And there probably won't be until my arm gets sorted. There is a video, a music video on there that's hidden at the moment. Because um, it was a company that made my Johnny Connell put me onto that basically you put the music you upload your music in there all actually makes a music video for you. And I wasn't over the moon with the results of it. And the trouble is the song I used wasn't one of the, one of the best songs I've recorded. So I thought well some people haven't heard any of my stuff. Um, and it would be stupid to put a song that's not a strong song up, if that makes any sense. But I also made a decision this week as well, you know, part of the catalyst was when I was recording Crisks. As some of you know, I've been working on a classical album now since 2013. 
and for the last two years it's been at an absolute halt. Right, I've I painted myself into a corner because uh, it's a, a concept album. Story wise, I've painted myself into a huge fucking corner. There's no way out of it. Now, I the idea was either sit and wait until inspiration strikes, or um, record one more song once my arms right, and then release it as is, because you know there was about three three years of work went into that. You know, and it's it's probably some of the best stuff I've ever done musically. Now I know most people aren't even going to bother and listen to it. I know you all that well. It would be nice if people actually, you know, gave it a chance because um, there's all sorts in there. It's weird, it's like soundtrack music because it's classical, but it's also, some stuff's got guitars in it as well. Um, it's an eclectic mix. But anyway, I'll tell you about that near the time. But yeah, the new for 3D Arts, if anybody has a particular thing they'd like to see covered, um, if it's in, within my power, great. As I say, at some point I'm going to run out of 3D scenes to use, and at that point I'll be doing the video saying if anybody's got anything that's private, you know, we're not like client work, nothing you're going to get in trouble with, that, you know, they can share a few rems or whatever, then great, you know, it'll save me fucking around basically. Anyway, that's me done because I've got the uh, the kids coming over um, in a couple of hours, so I want to get things sorted. Anyway, bye bye.